Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Ebenezer and the something or other. The air was filled with phantoms wandering hither and thither with restless haste, moaning as he went. Every one of them wore change like Marley's ghost. The misery with them all was clearly that they sought to interfere for good in human matters and had lost all the power forever. Okay, so one of my favorite movies of all time is Mr. Magoo's Christmas Carol. I think it's the best Christmas Carol rendition, and I'm obsessed with this game idea. Let me turn this music up. So here we have a, this is a Steam Next Fest demo, by the way. Um, I don't know if it's like Steam Next Fest demo time still, but like this still works, so I'm gonna try it out. Um, this, I think it's like post Ebenezer Scrooge, uh, life turnaround, like, after Christmas. I think this is his, like, you know, refined and, um, sympathetic self. Not, like, the greedy, miserly Scrooge. So, let's see, let's see what this game is like. Ebenezer in the Invisible World. Let's see this go. Let me move my mouse off screen. I'm so bad at that. Cool. <clears throat> Eric Fellows, if there is a pathway to redemption for Caspar, it will weave through the life, uh, weave through the people in his life that mean the most to him and knew him well. Even if you knew Caspar Mouth as once as a good man, it was some time ago. How can you be so sure that such a person still exists? So, like Ebenezer, I guess has made it his like his thing in life to refine people like make them better people maybe i think this is like a metroidvania starring ebenezer scrooge which is like you usually don't get games like this unless it's christmas time so i'm like so shocked this game is here in the summer <laughs> i confess i'm not well informed on the metamorphosis that transpired within him it, are we doing some persona stuff it's imper- like some phantom thief stuff? It's imperative that we unravel how he became the man that he is today. Caspar kept a journal in the London Observatory, secreted away from prying eyes of his father. If that journal's still there, may help us understand how he drifted so far from how I remember him. I, too, was once a man who had lost his way. My good friend Jacob Marley helped me see that. I see that you're doing the very same for your friend, Caspar Malthus. Very well, I shall find Caspar's gem. Thank you, Ebenezer. You must exercise utmost caution tonight. Casper has already put into motion his plan to displace the workers of London. <laughs> workers are protesting, and soon there will be a standoff between the protesters and the Malthus private guard. The guard has been deployed to patrol the streets, no doubt eager to showcase their mettle to anyone sympathetic towards the plight of the workers. Thank you for your warning, spirit. I shall make my way now to the London Observatory to find Caspar's journal and learn the truth. This is sick. Oh my god. Holy cow, Mr. Magoo. You got jumps now. <laughs> oh, a backdash? A backdash? Castlevania? Symphony of the Night? Algard? Is that you? Like an attack? Hold on now. An old Pembroke Gazette with the headline, Industrious Caspar Malthus Promises the Dawn of a New Age for London. Apparently I'm reading that because- Oh, that's on the table, okay. I can barely see that, but that's fine. Hello, my fine butler. Be careful outside, sir. There have been protests recently here in London. They've become quite dangerous. Thank you, sir. My Thank you, my good man. Oh, what's this? Fezziwig! How pleasant to see the bright face of my former employer. Hello, Ebenezer. You've made much of yourself since you worked for my company. I'm here to provide assistance as you advance in your quest. Thank you, I am grateful. There's never been a limit to your generosity. Press the bingle-bangle button to look at your map. London is a big city with many places to explore, and a map is essential to making your way through the city. Thank you, Fezzlewig. I will press the bingle bangle button. That was not it. That's it. Okay, cool. 
Ghost train room. Ghost train. Here they come to steal my soul. Regal Redwood cane that Ebenezer has kept close since his visit with the three ghosts. This trusted cane, Ebenezer has mastered the art of tactical cane combat. <laughs> he can now wield strong strikes with his feet planted on the ground or high up in the air. Ebenezer has also perfected the three-hit combo with flair, he might say. <laughs> I've got heirlooms. Okay. Upgrade materials. Stave number one. Complete this stuff to learn more about the invisible world. Leave Ebenezer's mansion. Oh, let's look at those options, actually. This game's kind of sick, honestly, just from the premise alone. Cool. <sighs> Stave one. Go to the worker strike near London. Someone may be of assistance. I'm assuming London is this way. Seems very London y. Oh, that's so beautiful. Look at the people in their little beautiful rooms and whatnot. Bedlam Asylum. I don't know if that's London. Oh, I need a double jump to reach the asylum. <laughs> that is inaccessible for now. Someday this old man's gonna get mega hops. If he could do a cane hop, that would be so sick. What's up, snowman? I will not attack you because I have changed. You could be a little boy under there, I don't know. Oh, oh my god, it's Tiny Tim! Hurrah, Ebenezer! It's Christmas time again! Thank you for your kindness this year! You truly have changed! Little Tiny Tim. I hope you enjoy my great accents. So many uh, in the city are going to want to work. Without a penny to their name, how soon will it be before the parish of hunger? Says this one poor guy. He's not poor, but he's like, I'm going to push himself. Hey, we got some folks of color as well in the background. Thank goodness. Some good representation. I love that. See, folks, it's easy. Easy to do. Just put some folks around in town because they were there. The affluent bourgeoisie go about their day in blissful ignorance of the workers' plight. But it shall not be long before a mall places pressure to quell these protests. Love all these little Christmas decorations. I'm a sucker for Christmas, dude. Give us back our jobs. Give us back our dignity. I'm turning the sound down just a wee bit for this. Oh, here we are. Okay. Venezer, the protester just ahead is in peril and requires aid. Can you intercede on my behalf? We are not surplus population. Oh, wow, look at that big boy. Please don't! I surrender! You there, unhand that man. Though he may have committed transgressions, he has surrendered himself. You and your friends are not the surplus population. Trick your feet, you two little twine. Oh no, I didn't intercede. You're an asshole, Connor. I didn't kill him. Oh, damn. Oh, what's up now, jerk? I, I beat your butt! Make my words. Oh, I didn't read the rest of that. Meh. Thank you, kind sir. Let me help you home. No, I'll be fine. You have to find the safe haven for Warren Gastrell's a merciful, merciless fellow. And you are in grave peril in his presence. Gastrell is not just neutralizing protesters. He and Malthus' private guards are hunting down anyone involved in the protests. Now you'll be on his list, too! I shall heed your warning. Find safety. Eric, why were you unable to help that man yourself? I wish I had a ghost reverb. I had the wish to aid that man, but my curse in the afterlife is that I cannot. You, Ebenezer, have been visited by the Christmas spirits and can see me and other ghosts. I can help those in need through you, and I can help you. For granting assistance that man on my behalf, I will join you tonight and help you further. There is a, there is a, um, it's called quietus of the something or other. Let me see, quietus of the, oh yes, Andrew Lewis. Okay. There's a really cool Metroidvania that if this guy joins me and he's like a spirit that I can summon, um, that'll be very Ender Lily's Quietus of the Nights. Let's see if that if that's the case, I don't explain more. This is Jane New tonight. 
Select attack ghosts. Oh my god. Ebenezer requires spirit to use attack ghosts. Regain spirit by hitting enemies with cane. Okay, the Y button. Very cool. Okay, so in Ender Lilies, you're just this pale little girl who's like Metroidvania-ing. And to attack your foes, you summon ghosts that you have defeated. Uh, and they all have different unique attacks and stuff. This is, uh, I know I haven't played Ender Lilies quite as a knight, but I did watch a speedrun of it. This kind of reminds me of that. Very, very cool. Hello, officer. Oh, officer. Man, on the far west side of the city is Jonathan Bedlam Asylum. I've always had a feeling there was something strange going on there, but I could never prove it. Meow, it's a dangerous place now. In any case, you should stay away for your own safety. Meow. Ah, <laughs> is it a turkey dinner? Oh my gosh, it's a reusable thing. That turkey was probably somebody's meal, to be honest. Oh, I'm gonna use these guys. Get him! All right. There's my man. Excellent. Heck yeah, this is a good ghost. Oh. Forgive my intrusion. You need not apologize, Fizzy Wig. You are a great temper. If you continue right, you'll find a save room. A save room is where you'd save your progress and replenish your health and spirit. Look for the sign with the feather pen. Every save room has a sign nearby. Thank you, Fizzy Wig. I love video games telling you, like, hey, this is a video game thing. Baby. Oh, yeah, there's that little Jacob Marley esque. Uh... Cool. A little Marley esque door knocker that appears. This woman is angry. What's this? Is this orb something? This orb looks like something, I tell you. Woman, you almost knocked me right out of the air. That's so rude. Oh, he got me. She got me. How dare you, madam? Ooh. What the? What? What? Get tunnel grosso. You there, Ebenezer. I see that you have stopped to notice my lamp flames. You put on quite the show with your flames. How do you know my name, Ghost? There is much that I know about the people of London. Much that some may prefer I do not know. I remember you now. You're quite the town whisperer. Quite proud of your gossip. That was then and this is now. I lit the flames to catch your attention. I need your assistance. Prominent journalist Salvatore Garcia is writing a story about the accident in the Malthus factory. The one that they say Declan Doyle is responsible. I fear with the unrest of the streets tonight, he could hurt, be hurt or injured. If he takes his normal route, I know a safer path. My request of an easier is to ensure that the street lands can be seen along this route so that Garcia may reach his destination unharmed. Many are covered with snow. Can you make sure the snow is removed so that the lamps will shine bright? Very well, I'll do what I can to ensure his way is lit and the path is clear. Okay, cool, I can do that. Uh, I hope. Like, it's all along this route, maybe? I'm gonna make sure that dude's got it and die. Boink! Yeah, you got it, bud. Alright. Oh, I thought this lady was evil. I haven't seen Phoebe today. I'm worried about her. What are these little balls? Oh, will this blue child help me with my balls? Buster Bailey. You, I know you. You're Ebenezer Scrooge. You're that rich, miserly old man that yells at children for laughing too loud. You made my friends cry. Yes, young man, I regret to say this is so. London has been generous with the laughter of children, and I found it to be quite a bother at the time. I'd like to make amends. Is your friend nearby? I'd like to apologize. Phoebe's in trouble. She snuck into a building to the right looking for food without realizing it was occupied by the Malthus guards. Now she's trapped and scared. Can you help her, sir? This nice lady here, Marianne, has been taking care of Phoebe and can take her to safety if you find a way for Phoebe to exit the building. Of course I'll help. I'll find Phoebe and help her to safety. Easy. Just 
gotta remember every uh, everything else. Oh, oh lord. This is fun. Oh, this is trash. Okay. Ah, hold on. Lamp light is not on, but it's not like maybe a big lamp. Mm, interesting. Ba boom. Got it now. Oh, okay. I just have to open these shields. Uh, okay, great. Bounce kick. Interesting. Speak with Phoebe, speak with Marianne. Okay. I gotta get Phoebe's. Phoebus. Hello, little child. It seems you're oh, locked. Okay. Thank god I have these great kneecaps as this old man. I gotta have my knees replaced. Oh, I. So if you dodge into them, you do get hurt. I think I got my Christmas dinner on hand. Kill him. Oh. I can't murder people. Oh dear. Oh dang. You really can just dodge right into people. I gotta be more careful about that. Sand has been found. Is that so? I have some upgrade materials. Sand. Okay. Cool. Hello, child. Ah, achoo! Achoo! Oh, I hope the Bumpus guards didn't hear a sneeze. Is your name Phoebe? Do you know a boy named Buster? Oh, dear Buster, he was my best friend. Mother said Buster and I were to be married when we were of, a, of, of age. Worry not, dear child. I hope you get out of here. <laughs> my reaction should be that, well, that's weird. Marion's close by and she can take Phoebe to safety. There's a lever just above your head that'll open the door. I can help you get up there so you can activate it. Press attack and up. This uses power. Okay. Oh! Interesting. Wow, how about that? This only took her ever to get to her daughter. Phoebe, are you okay? This house is dangerous. I must get you to safety. Yes, I'm okay. I'm happy to see you, Marianne. Please, let's leave. I'm so scared. <laughs> that poor child. Thanks for finding Phoebe. She was my best friend in life. With your help and Marianne, Phoebe's safe. I will join you on your quest, Ebenezer. Sick. I got Balloon Boy now. I don't even have to press the attack button. I just have to jump on it and I'm like, up. Oh. Now I know what those little orbs are about. But that guy looks like bad news. Oh no, get out of here. You too. It's only charge time, sheesh. Money! Ooh, some kind of like, weed? A ham dinner? Cold boiled ham. Oh, this has gotta be. Oh, come on. I want that safe. My greed is kicking in. I do not know. They also need to be getting higher up by pressing. So, this is the attack button, right? When you press it, let's jump. Then I can, like, do that, but I'm not, like, bouncing higher. Hopefully that's not needed to progress, because it doesn't seem to work. We can exit out this way. Because we remember your map. You can always press the, the map button to look at the map, which is a button you can press. Oh, you can hurt the snowman. That does make me upset. But maybe the snowmen are spies, you never know. Oh, look at these guys! Who the heck is that? Hello there, ma'am! Now is not a good time. I have matters to attend to. Oh, okay. She's like, come back to me when the demo's over. Did I get all the lamps that that one dude needed? What in the wide world of sports is this creepy thing? Oh lord, is it? Oh, I am... Red Wizard is about to die. Get him! Dang, that dude was tough. Go ahead and tarnation. This is glowing. Oh! Near wars. 
Oh, maybe I need some sort of mirror ghost to help me. You're pink. Okay. Your pinkness does not mean anything about your ability to use a pink mirror, I see. The bo the balloon boy was blue, so I thought maybe he had something to do with it. Interesting. Okay, off we go again. Well, you are a pink ghost. God, I'm getting my butt beat by these ring ghosts. I wanna I wanna die then. I'm gonna die as old this poor old man's gonna croak. Mugwort. No, this is a dead end, it seems. Mm. Alright. Let's see which ghosts respawn. I hope none of them. Hey, is the time better now, ma'am? <laughs> Mrs. Keisha Lorraine does not uh, need to chat with us. Have I gotten all of that dude's uh, lampposts? Got bounce kick. Did that. Just still need a lamp lighter. Let's see if we can light some dang lamps. Okay, hold on now. There is a treasure up there. Oh, I'm so tempted. Not a treasure, you know? Uh, and I do believe... Oh, it's in the... It's the room behind us, actually. Back this way. That there is an exit. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, I think it's a bit of unintended physics. Oop. Huh. I don't think they... I don't think I got this power. I think I made a goof... <laughs> I made... Okay, good. We're back to normal. Okay. <laughs> I may have gooped something there. Ah, yes. What's all this? Mashed potatoes? Hell yeah! That's what I am talking about. You mean your stink glass? Hold on. I was really hoping to get out of the air a bit quicker. I gotta get my juice back by hitting this guy slowly. Plus, I can kill him as such. Oh, apples. Oh my god. Oh darn it. There goes all my juice. My ghost juice. Rhymony. Merry Christmas. I just use my mash potatoes right now. Two. Ooh, that was tough. That's all this great money. Boy, I've been needing those health recovery items, huh? Creepazoids. Man, these folks are giving me a real tough time. I need some more wall chicken. Pete's sake. Oh, it's a little jumpy quest. Okay. Oh, okay. Please, God, have some mashed potatoes or chicken or something in this. Thank God for mashed potatoes. You are a menace to the to the public, sir. Throwing stuff at me. No. Girl, when's the last time I saved, do you think? Uh-oh. Okay, well, it saved the quest I had done. This is pretty cool so far, I have to say. I think I'm good for here for right now. That was like a little about 20 minutes of gameplay. This is kind of neat. Um, I love the concept so far, and I feel like since it is a demo, they have to be a little more like on the nose about it. But uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how this game uh, will look when it comes out fully. But this is really, really dope so far. So this is Ebenezer. Let me exit game. 
Ebenezer in the Invisible World, pretty rad. I liked it. So uh, on to the next one.